Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the level 65 ninja quest, a game of life and death. A burro glances impatiently about him, as if waiting for a tarty guest. Tarty? Tardy guest. Ah, it is good to see you, Katarina. I have heard nothing from Kar Karasu since we last met. It would seem we have no choice but to take matters into our own hand. And yet, in our current state, we are outmanned. In hopes of bolstering our ranks, I reach out to Princess reach out to Princess Yuki, pride of the Yatsurugi clan. Her skills and knowledge of these lands would surely avail us in our effort, I thought. I am pleased to say that she was more than happy to lend her aid, doubtless in no small part to your due to your own efforts on her behalf. Judging from her words, she's quite eager to prove herself, perhaps a bit over eager. I would ask you to keep an eye on her, lest she go running off into some sort of trouble. Which, mayhap, she already has, as she should have arrived hours ago. Perhaps she has simply gotten lost on the way, or stopped off for sushi and tea. Might the two of you be so kind as to search for her in my stead? Captain Jack, see if she is not in the Rakuza district, and Katarina, pray search the markets of the Kagani Dori. I will remain here in case she has simply been delayed in her journey. Okay. Where, where is... Down there. I will just simply run. So I apologize for anybody that's been keeping up with these as they come out. Uh, I've been a little la lacking in uh, doing things. Kind of had a bit of a... Uh, just say work has been weighing heavily. Just in case you actually care. Uh, but... That is mostly sorted out at this point. What am I looking for? Who am I looking for? Is it back here? It's back here, isn't it? Katarina, whatever are you doing here in Kugane? Not that I'm complaining, of course. I'm always happy to see the shinobi you helped bring prosperity back to my homeland. Yes, thanks to you, my people are doing wonderfully. The only downside of it is that now I have... To be a proper princess again. Akagi, he's my personal bodyguard now, you see, was none too happy when I told him I'd be heading to Kugane. In fact, Yuki, Princess Yuki, come back at once! Oh, hells, he's on to me. I just have to help you and Oboro in return for everything you did for me. Surely you understand, Katarina. Can you go find Akagi and tell him that I... I don't know, that I hopped on a ship to Urzia or something. Great. Let's go lie to Akage. Akagi. Seems like uh, a nice thing to do. Katarina, fancy meeting you here. You're an awfully long way from home, eh? Speaking of which, you haven't by chance seen her highness anywhere, have you? I caught her sneaking out of the castle and followed her here to Kugane, but I seem to have lost her. Eorzea, you say? Gods, what is the girl thinking? If anything happened to her, I'd never hear... But there's no time to lose. To the docks. Princess Yuki, wait for me. Princess Yuki! Uh, yes, I'm aware I haven't really managed to come up with any terribly unique voice for her, but... Thank you, Katarina, and pray forgive me for asking you to lie on my behalf. I had half a mind to tell Akagi the truth, but then he might have offered to help. Kami forbid. That man means well, but I hear that we face a most dangerous foe, and I simply don't have the heart to place Akagi in danger. You understand, don't you? In any event, I do believe we've kept Aboro long enough. Okay. Well, in this simple navigation case, it is probably quicker to Ethernet. That is one of those words that I struggle to get to my brain to do consistently, which is ethernet and like ether and whatnot because that's not how my brain wants to read it but i don't know thank you for leading her highness here katarina princess yuki thank you for making the journey to kukane before we proceed i i, uh, I would hear aught you might know of recent invention and gox but wow reading comprehension not strong today or speaking one of the two as you doubtless know, though Hingashi appears to outsiders to be a land at peace, beneath the surface, rival warlords are ever scheming to undermine each other's power. 
In that sense, it is entirely within the realm of possibility that one of them has employed a shinobi to gain a hidden advantage over his foes. But this is merely speculation. Try as I might, I was unable to uncover any tangible evidence as to who might be behind these recent events. I see. Thank you, Princess. And so it remains a mystery. What foul master does that treacherous crow serve? Now, now, dim one, is that any way to talk about a dear old friend? Karasu, you have some gall to call yourself, my friend. What have you done with Subame and the others? But what's this? The Dim One is joined by one new companion after the next. Our hero is wounded. Was his friendship not enough? Why are the geniuses of the world so misunderstood? Anyhow, I was hoping you'd ask. As a matter of fact, I have just the present for you. It's a game I like to call Kill or Watch Your Friends Be Killed. Do you like the name? I thought of it myself just now. The rules are quite simple. Your precious Swallow and the others are being held captive by the Garnet League on the Isle of Beko. You simply need to march in, cut down the crew and her men, and free your companions from their shackles. Succeed and I'll forget about the scroll and you can all, you can all go marching happily back to Doma. Fail and I get the scroll, and the crew bathes in your blood tonight. Ah, yes I do believe there's something in it for everyone. I'll be watching from the shadows. Do try to keep me entertained, won't you? Bah, does his villainy know no bounds? I'm not keen on agreeing to those terms, but it don't seem we've much choice in the matter. If it's a fight he wants, it's a fight he'll get. Together we can take those garnet curs. What do you say, Katarina? Yes, I may look different from previous. I have a Fantasia obsession. Forgive me, my friends. If only I had been quicker to unravel Karasu's schemes, I would not have... I would not have to place you in danger like this. Still, it heartens me to know you stand with us. Same holds true for me, lass. While I'm not proud we let that rook get the better of us, I feel a lot safer knowing a dimber damber like yourself is on our side. Let's get underfoot and the keb out of there right quick, like. Ever since the elders told me my presence was not needed in the village, I have struggled to find meaning in my daily existence. For whom do I fight? For what greater purpose? Now I have found an answer. It is for you, my friends. You who have stood beside me in the darkest of times. You who have shown me that there is strength inside me even though I had long forgotten. You who... This is no time for brittle paddle, lad, or haven't you noticed the princess has already hopped the twig? Dust off your beater cases and let's move. The man speaks true. Yes, we must be strong in both body and mind if we hope to prevail. To the Isle of Becca, where our friends await us. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, where do I... I believe that's just inside the Ruby Sea. I guess Tamamizu... It's debatable whether or not this is faster than taking the Ethernet out to the Ruby price. But. Eh, anyway, well, what are you gonna do? Shouldn't be that bad of a trip, though. This is mostly vertical. Combat time. Little to my surprise, it would seem Karasu has alerted our foe to our presence. Let us proceed with caution. There is no telling what manner of treachery the crow has in store for us. Uh, I guess I'll do it on normal. I could do it on very easy to be really lazy about it, but... Find your friends. I can't remember whether I can never remember whether or not Shikuchi knocks me out of sneak or not. Hide? Stealth? Whatever you want to call it. I also have no idea what scaling is going to look like in here. The answer is not much. Oh you fuck. 
You morons. Uh, wait. This is not how this was supposed to go. Rescue Bakib. Yes. Just trying to see in my mind if I remember where these were. Thanks, you didn't bring a bite to Yaphalon, did you? Ain't got time for that. To the shadows again, friends. Master Underfoot must be around here somewhere. I thought maybe he was over there, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, for future reference, once I get to where Underfoot is, wait for them to appear before they aggro everything. There's underfoot. Something smells so familiar. Did I say I'd stay out of this fight? Oops, I lied. Blast it all, you'll pay for your treachery, Karasu. Uh, oh no. Well. That's... Well, that happened. Oops. Yeah, I don't really have a uh, thing on a keybind. Sue me. Generally, don't need to use it. Okay. Oops. Well, I just accidentally answered my own question. Oh god. Well, that was unexpected. And now you get to watch me fail. Yeah, I'm lazy. And I'm going to be honest. Anybody that says, oh, I did, you know, I, I failed and did very easy. I mean, clearly things can go horribly wrong. Well, at this point, I might as well just aggro everything. Might as well just kill everything on my way through. Myself a Hurrigan. Since I now know that Karasu is just going to aggro everything onto everything, because I'll just blow it up. I'm on. I'm on.
Thank you kindly, friends. Those ropes stung something fierce. Cutscene time. You've got more courage than sense to come this far. Heh, <laughs> if we fought on the same side, I could see myself getting to like you. But we serve another master, and he just so happens to be a demanding one. Don't give me that look. We've all got to make a living. This is the best way we know how. Now draw your blades. The curl will bathe in your lifeblood this day. I don't think he will. I'm back! Did you miss me? Okay. I got a dagger in my back. Spread out, friends. Oh, I don't even have Baba Kaka at this level. That's setting. Moderately. I guess I'll press buttons. Is that gonna hit him? No. Nope, that's unfortunate. have a lot of health for having put this on very easy. I'm just gonna say. Duty completo. Blades whirling through the air, blood watering the fields, shinobi fighting side by side, all for the sake of their dear friends. Could there be a more moving sight? Our heroes move to tears. Or not. But do not worry. As promised, I'll return your precious swallow with nary a feather out of place. Once you hand over the scroll, of course. What foolery is this, Karasu? We played your little game and we won, did we not? Are you not a man of your word? Oh, my poor, stupid Oboro. How dim can one man get? Didn't anyone ever tell you that promises are made to be broken? Especially mine! <laughs> now, hand over the scroll and quickly now. I don't particularly enjoy killing my dear friends, but that's never stopped me before. Oboro, the scroll. Very good, dim one. Yes, I dare say you've played your role to perfection. Fly away home, my little swallow. We've had enough fun for the day.
Incompetent fools, the lot of you. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Waiting, or keep me waiting for what is rightfully mine? Lord Hanzo, you couldn't have come at a better time. You'll be happy to know I have just what you've been looking for. Behold! Our hero has truly outdone himself this time. At long last, the ancient secrets of Hingen Ninjutsu will be his. Do tell me, Lord Hanzo, when will training begin? L Lord Hanzo? I. Silence, whelp. The bastard get of Susaka, er, uh, Sasaka. You know, brain. Uh, Sasuke the shame deserved not but a quick death. Well, well, a brood of domin dogs who would call themselves shinobi. You stand before Hanzo the Hidden, twelfth lord of the Kag... Kage Kakushi clan, and you should consider yourself fortunate do I, that I do not cut you down where you stand. And you would call your pe petty tricks ninjutsu? I spit on your ninjutsu. Your very existence brings dishonor to every true shinobi who has ever lived. Yes, those of my clan, the original and true practitioners of the art. Be thankful that I have more important matters to attend to today. Enjoy what little remains of your miserable lives. Your time will come before you know it. Forgive me, my friends. Pray give me a moment to take in all we just saw. I do not know where to even start. Karasu killed off before our very eyes. The forbidden mudra in the hands of this Hanzo who claims to hail from the clan who founded our art and who harbors a grudge against Master Sasuke. And in turn, us, for reasons I can scarce begin to understand. Though it may be small comfort, we can take heart in one matter. In truth, the scroll Hanzo now holds is but one half of the whole. Alone, it is all but worthless. The other half is tucked away safely in our village, far from Hanzo's peering eye. It's a known secret only to the elders, and trusted me by the old hermit before I took my leave. Is that so? Hmm. I would have appreciated if someone could have shared that knowledge with me as well. The old hermit always did like you better, for some reason. Still, I do not expect this Hanzo to give up, uh, to give up easily. Whatever the true nature of the grudge he holds against the founder of our village, it seems to deny border on obsession. Our adversary claims to hail from the Kaga Kagekakushi clan. Princess Yuki, are you familiar with the name? If I remember correctly, the histories if I remember the histories correctly, they achieved a great renown for their exploits in battle during the Age of Strife. It was said that a single Kagekakushi fought with the strength and skill of a thousand lesser shinobi, until one day when a vengeful warlord raised their village to the ground, slaughtering even wives and babes. The Kagekakushi on the battlefield, too, disappeared, one after the next. An inglorious end, by any measure. If this Hanzo is truly a descendant of the clan, it would stand to reason that he would seek revenge against those who portrayed his ancestors. But how this is connected to Sasuke, I cannot say. But if there's one thing I know, it's that I'm not going to just stand by while this Hanzo plunges our nation into another age of war. I will return home and see if there is any more knowledge of the Kagekakushi to be had. Too many letters, I give up. Thank you, Princess. We are counting on you. For our part, we should return to Yangsha. Once Hanzo realizes that he only possesses half the, the knowledge he seeks, he is in he is like to turn an eye to our village. We must warn the elders. If it's all the same, I reckon I'll join ye. 
I'm not keen on showing my face and limbs until I've got the goods I came for in my daddles. That said, someone needs to see to it that all Bob's back home. Underfoot, Vakeb, can I count on ye to keep things in order till I've seen to business here? Aye, aye, Captain, consider it done. Just hurry back, will ye? I'll make sure there's a Bismarck special with your name on it. This is too many voices in one cutscene. Wonder me if this journey hasn't one surprise after the next, and something tells me it's best yet to come. You'll be joining us, won't ye, Katarina, for old time's sake? I cannot thank you enough, friend. The journey to Yangsha is a long one. After we arrive, let us rest up in the village of Namai. <clears throat> All these voices, they're hard on the throat. My long-awaited homecoming, for the first time since I left in pursuit of Karasu. Karasu, have you truly left this world for good? And for the last step, we go to Namai and finish off the quest. Where the next one will begin. Subama and I will first make the journey to the village alone. Forgive me, but the elders are not like to smile on the subtle ar sudden arrival of outsiders. We will report on all we saw in Hingashi and gather what wisdom we can. Pray wait for us here. We will s return as soon as we are able. I do not ask for a hero's welcome, but... Well, I suppose there's no putting it off any longer. Seems we're on our, phone, on our own for the time being. Reckon I can find some Bene Bingo and a couple of rum doxies in this place? Just having a bit of a muse. What with this Hanzo on the prowl, it's best we both keep our stabbers sharpened. We're on a tiny little new game plus. And that is where we'll call it for this time. Yep, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.